there's an eclipse, of course, there's going to be some of the sun is covered. And normally when you look at the sun, like today, um, you look at the sun and it hurts, and so you look away. But during a solar eclipse, the moon is going to be covering up some of that light, so you'll be able to look at it longer without it hurting as much. And so what happens is people will look at the eclipse for way longer than they should because there is still radiation coming out of the sun that can burn the back of your retina. So that is um, not good and you can end up going blind, quite literally. So you have a couple of choices. You can wear the glasses. If the glasses are correct, you won't be able to see anything at all until you look at the sun and then you'll see kind of an orangish dim disc. If you can walk around and see things, throw them away. That won't work. Uh, you can also use the welder glasses that are number 14. Anything less than that, can't use it. So if you have little kids and you want to have them look at the sun and not be worried about it, I made this little thing where you just take a paper plate, tape on the glasses, and then they can put it on and that'll be safe for them. You can tie it to their head. Another thing you can do is pinhole projections. So if you hold uh, even a colander, it has round holes in it, you hold it up to the light and look at the shadow down on the ground and you'll be able to see the eclipse as it goes along. Then I also made one out of a, uh, just a box. And down here I taped white paper on the inside. I took a piece of foil and I put it on that side, left this side so I can look inside and I poked a tiny pinhole right there. You hold it over your shoulder until you see the white disc of the sun going down through there. So those are all different ways to view the eclipse safely. And you oh, wow.